hello everyone so in this video i'll be helping you guys decide whether you should take the self-taught route or go to university or college when you want to learn coding right so without wasting any time let's get right into it so i'll be going through the pros and cons of each so you can be able to decide much easier or decide much effectively so we're gonna start with the self-taught route so i'm gonna start with the cons of actually teaching yourself coding so the first thing that i want to talk about is the fact that when you're teaching yourself coding like you're gonna need a lot of time you're gonna need passion you're gonna need to be dedicated and you're gonna need to have some curiosity right of course if you don't have enough time then you'll be able to get to the point when you want to be because it needs some time Time, right and also if you're not dedicated of course you're gonna stop or quit along the way also if you're not passionate you're gonna quit along the way so you're gonna need those things to be able to succeed if you're gonna teach yourself how to code also if you're teaching yourself how to code you're gonna need to have like a mentor or someone on your side to be able to guide you when you're facing problems or when you need some direction to be able to get to a destination right so when you're teaching yourself coding try to find someone who has some experience in this field so they can be able to guide you along the way so you can get there much faster right so yeah try to find some mentor when you're teaching yourself coding so another thing that pushes people away from teaching themselves how to code is the fact that people who teach themselves how to code get paid less than those who actually have a degree or a diploma in IT right that's another con or another disadvantage of actually teaching yourself how to code without having any qualification and another thing that you're gonna need when you're teaching yourself how to code and it's a must-have is a laptop or at least a PC so of course you can teach yourself how to code through your phone using an app like solo learn but you're gonna need to have a laptop along the way to actually build the projects you're gonna need to have a laptop you'll be working on a laptop when you're working at a real job so yes you can teach yourself how to code through your phone but you're still gonna need to have a laptop or at least a pc to build those projects and keep going right and just a tip for those who actually teaching themselves how to code try to join some facebook communities to be able to stay motivated and get inspired by others who are learning the same technologies that you're learning so you can be able to be motivated every single day and keep going right then now we're gonna go to the pros of actually teaching yourself how to code the first pro is that it costs less right you're not gonna need to go through a whole course where you're gonna pay like thousands of friends to actually get a degree so you're just gonna teach yourself how to code even if you're using youtube videos to learn how to code it's gonna cost you nothing right so you can even learn how to code without spending any cent another advantage is the fact that you can learn a lot of things at a small amount of time right a lot of people are actually going through the university university route or the college route they depend on the lectures on the material that they give them to be able to step ahead or progress but if you're teaching yourself how to code you're gonna be self-motivated you're gonna depend on yourself on what you need to learn so it all depends on you so if you're teaching yourself how to code it'll be easier to learn a lot of things at the same time and you'll be able to be ahead of those people who are actually in varsity who depend on the lectures i'm not saying everyone is like that there are a lot of people who are in varsity who are smart who teach themselves this technology is because they know that when they graduate they want to be software developers so they teach themselves react on all this technology so that they are a step ahead than others right and also when you are self-taught software developer you'll be able to be the right fit for a lot of companies because when you are teaching yourself it takes dedication it takes self-motivation it takes some curiosity right and it will help you to learn a lot of things faster because when you are teaching yourself you'll find some ways to actually learn things faster so you'll master that part so a lot of companies are usually looking for people who are self-motivated because not every manager will come to you and try to motivate you every single day they need people who are self-motivated who can bring the results on the table instead of depending on the managers to motivate them to get the results right so now we're gonna move on to get a computer science degree or getting a diploma in IT degree so with that the cons is that it's costly right so as you know when you want to get a degree you're gonna get in debt if you face a lot of problems along the way and you fail your modules you won't be able to get to the point where you graduate in a short amount of time when you're failing right so so that's the first con of actually taking the route of actually going to varsity or college another con is the fact that it takes many years to actually complete these degrees or diploma so it's gonna take you some time to actually learn your job of course if you are smart you can learn this technologies like react or whatever tools that you're gonna need to get the job that you want to get when you're done with your studies so you can get a job much faster you can even get a job while you're working you can even get a job while you're studying but if you're someone who depends on the lectures so you're gonna need to actually graduate first to actually get that job so 
course it takes many years to actually complete your degree like i said if you fail a module then it's gonna extend those years another con is the fact that varsity won't teach you everything they just teach you the basis that you need or the foundation that you need to actually be a programmer right and another con is the fact that the job is not guaranteed once you're done with your studies so once you get a degree it's not guaranteed that you get a job that is what i was thinking when i was actually going to varsity when i wanted to apply to a computer science degree or a diploma in it i thought that this is the only way to actually get that job right so but i've seen people who are actually staying at home with a computer science degree then we're gonna go to the advantages or the pros of actually getting a degree so the first one is the fact that it has a structure right when you are in a degree or when you're in your course in varsity they'll give you a structure of what you learn so you can be able to learn these things in an effective way so you can learn the basics then you can move on to the things that are a bit difficult than to the things that are a bit advanced right and also when you have a degree it's an advantage because you'll get a job and you'll be step ahead than those who actually taught themselves how to code so i think when you have a degree you are already a step ahead of those people and you get a job easier if you keep applying another advantage of actually having a degree is the fact that you be paid more than those who actually don't have a degree who taught themselves how to code another advantage is the fact that they'll actually strengthen you to be able to write code much better than those who actually taught themselves how to code of course you can learn these principles of writing code clean using the solid principles and everything so yeah those are the pros and cons of each path that you can take and if you decide to actually get a degree while you're studying make sure that you learn these technologies that you know that you're going to use at the job or the tools that you're going to use for the specific path that you're going to take if you're going to be a software developer learn javascript learn html learn css learn react learn those frameworks that you need don't rely on the lectures they're not going to teach you everything they're just going to give you the things that will prepare you to be able to be ready for a job and so you can be able to be a better programmer so make sure you are a step ahead and a lot of people who are just relying on the lectures teach yourself most of the things also if you're gonna teach yourself how to code there's no problem there you can absolutely do that whether you're nine years old or whether you're 50 years old or above you can teach yourself how to code there's no better time than now so start now teaching yourself how to code so that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel consider subscribing to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content all right thank you so much for watching this video have an awesome day bye